live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Oracle's modern marketing experience. Brought to you by Oracle. Now your host, John Furrier. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are live in Las Vegas for SiliconANGLE's theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise here at Oracle's Modern Marketing Experience Show, the future of marketing technology, ad technology, software collaboration, customer experiences, all happening here. Um, Kevin Ackroyd, under the leadership of him, this marketing cloud is exploding, bringing cloud computing, big data, and user experiences to the forefront. Big change for Oracle. Our next two guests are entrepreneurs from uh, venture-backed startup Mintigo, John Bear, the president, and uh, Tal Sagov, who's the co-founder and CTO from Mintigo, um, highlighted on my talk with Kevin about some of the, one of the 900 integrated partners. So it's not just Oracle Redstack, it's co companies that are venture-backed. So welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John. John, Tal, good to see you. Thank you. So, um, you got to get up here. So you got, the, what's, you know, got a little uh, Mintigo theme here. Predictive analytics, the genies, are here, predicting the future. That's the theme, so what's the theme of the, uh, the show this year for you guys? Well, for us uh, at Mintigo, our whole charter is to help marketers and sales teams find buyers faster. And we do that through data, John. And so, you know, marketers love creativity and everybody loves dress up. And so, at Mintigo, every year we have a, a theme and our whole team dresses up. And this year it's uh, the genie theme. So. so predicting the future, the, the, the magical leads come out of the woodwork through your data platform, is that the? That's what the we do. So I think um, one of the most exciting things that's happening here at the show with partners of Oracle like Mintigo is the technology and the data are all coming together to help solve the business need. So I've been a CMO, as you know, for more than 20 years. And one of the biggest mysteries uh, for CMOs is what's going on in their pipeline and in their lead generation system. And that mystery exists not only for CMOs, but also for sales executives, sales teams, and even individual account executives. Marketing's spending a lot of money to build the brand and build the pipeline, and sales isn't always getting the results they're looking for. So there's a lot of frustration with the existing system, and together, Mintigo and Oracle are working to kind of break through that barricade of uh, lack of data and bring intelligence and data to bear for more efficient marketing and lead generation. Well, you guys came up in my talk with um, Kevin because it really is about technology and how CMOs have a digital stack now. And this is an IT-like problem, but they don't want it to be IT people. Tal, you and your co-founder, Jacob, who I've interviewed before in the past, we've talked about this before. You guys come from a background of data science, nothing to do with technology. You were hired to find the bad guys in surveillance. So you have that kind of understanding of how to look at signals and connect the patterns and use things like data science, machine learning, algorithms to do that. So you, know, you got our attention, right? So this is pretty cool. So now you said to me, I remember this when we interviewed you, we just flipped the model. Instead of finding the bad guys, you find the good guys. Sales leads. So talk about that. I mean, that's science now. Talk about the science behind Mintigo. You're the CTO. This is some of the magic that's happening with Mintigo. And how does that fit into Oracle for an Oracle customer? Because you can't do it alone. You guys have an interesting product. But where does it tie into the customer, for your customer? So it's an excellent question, John. Um, we heard before from Kevin Ackroyd how uh, marketing is moving from uh, manual to automated to predictive. And this move, me being a CTO, I'm excited to see the role that technology now plays in the modern marketing, marketing field. And uh, um, you know, referring to what you said about uh, uh, intelligence, the way I position Mintigo is actually we're an intelligence service for marketers. Uh, what we do is we find the right information that's out there, we glean it for them, we make sense of it, and we bring it, serve it to them as insights that can be actioned upon. Uh, and, and for me, the key is not only getting the, the knowledge, but also making it actionable for the marketer and helping him uh, uh, reach the right decisions, take the right actions, and provide the right input into sales. How much automation do you guys have right now in your platform? And how much is manual? And then what was the last phase? Predictive. So manual, automated, predictive. Yeah. Do you have to do a little bit of all three? Is it a mix and match? Is it fully 
turnkey at this point? So our platform, we believe in full automation. We're a product company. We're not a uh, services-oriented uh, uh, company. And uh, what we are best at is building platforms. Um, and uh, what we like to do is basically teach our customers how to make best use of, uh, of the platform in order to be self-serve and, and be able to uh, uh, generate the right kind of impact in marketing using those tools. So John, you got the big gun over here, Tal and Jacob, both uh, geniuses. Um, but that is what the world we're living in. I just talked with Merkle, and they have evolved from performance-based marketing to having full-on platform. Obviously from the search side, they got you know, performance-based, you know, CPA, cost per acquisition kind of days. Now to a full global agency. CMOs though don't want to be technical. They want to make sure they have a platform that has folks like Tall in there doing all the magic. Yes. And they want it abstracted away from them. That's a trend we're hearing. So you have a CMO and a CIO and maybe a chief digital officer in the mix now. So how does it become easier for the CMO? Because they still yeah. got to do all the creative things yeah. reach one-to-one -one marketing and do all the things CMO wants to do, deliver yeah. value, get more sales. Yeah, I think it's a great question. And the way I look at it is having gone through several of these innovation cycles in marketing and marketing technology, what's going on right now with marketing automation and Salesforce automation, CRM, because of the data that's available and the tools like Mintigo that can do the automated predictive intelligence for you, there's a revolution that's occurring that's not unlike the revolution that we all experienced in the early days of Google and placing Google ads. John, when I first started working with Google almost 20 years ago, uh, Google would send two young salespeople to my office in Sunnyvale, they were right there in Mountain View, and those two young people would say, John, what kind of ads would you like to place? I'd give them the type of ads I like to place, my keywords, and they'd come back 30 days later with the results. But once Google automated the whole search process, they put up the, the Google AdWords uh, capability, I went right to my CFO and I got a credit card with a $50,000 limit and suddenly I was placing my own ads. And because the machine was doing all the work for me, I could see real-time intelligence, real-time reporting, and it, it was magic. So. Really, Mintigo and others are trying to do so the same thing. So we're hitting a thing. new wave of, of similar absolutely. metaphor with data. Yeah, absolutely, so now marketing data, frankly, marketing data and, and intelligence is the new currency in a marketing department. Like, you know, we're all so excited about branding and things like that, but at the end of the day, especially in B2B marketing, you have to sell something. You have to sell something, and the way you help sell something That's the ROI. is find your buyers faster, and the way you find your buyers faster is to provide your sales teams with something that really is going to give them unfair competitive advantage, and that's really through data and intelligence. Can you give an example where you guys have um, been successful with Oracle and what the outcome was? Yes, absolutely. So Oracle, as you know, John, is a customer of Mintigo, so they're deploying our technology internally. We're also a very uh, big partner uh, with Oracle uh, Marketing Cloud, and in their case, they're using Mintigo to not only uh, segment their pipeline and uh, do effectively predictive lead scoring, but they're using it to add marketing indicators and sophistication to those leads to help their salespeople start conversations that are not uh, uh, without information. The, the sales conversations are much richer and they're finding uh, more like-minded customers to close faster. So what, what should a customer that's out there that might be a prospect from Intego what are signals that they should be contacting you guys? What's the, what are some of the areas you're winning that have been, hey, this, I, I should have called Mintigo, or where do you get involved? Where are you being successful? Where do you, where do you integrate well with the customer, and how do they know they should call you? Well, I think for B2B marketers, in particular in the high-tech segment, uh, Mintigo can help them really shed a bright light on their own DNA. What types of accounts uh, are they uh, targeting and winning? What types of buyers are their most likely um, repeat customers? And how can they use data to apply that? So if they're feeling like they don't really understand their segmentation, they don't have enough information in their pipeline, and they're not understanding why they're winning and losing, working with Mintigo can really shed a light on this whole story. So how do you guys compare with competition? Obviously you get the, the gold mint, minting the, minting the deals, minting the leads. Um, you obviously have predictive scoring, and you put that out there. How do you compare versus the competition? 
Well, we're known for three things, John. Uh, first is we love our customers, and so we have a proven customer success model with large enterprises like Oracle, like Red Hat, Getty Images, and others. Uh, second, uh, we are an award-winning product. So there are a lot of, uh, let's call them consulting-like uh, software companies out there that are doing a lot of custom work. We're not one of those companies. We've built a, an automated machine, as Tal described it, and the idea is to let marketers engage with that machine just like they would engage with uh, a Google ad system and experiment with it and run models. And I think third, uh, we're, we're sharing our data. So we like to say our data is your data. We have arguably the largest uh, treasure trove of B2B data in the entire market. And once we sign someone up as a customer, we share it with our customers very transparently. There's no black box with Mintigo. So can, can the Cube get the data or do we have to pay for it? Oh, we have to ask Sal that. Sal, <laughs> Sal. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk. discuss it afterwards. Of course he's not going to say yes, he's live on the Cube. <laughs> What's your take on the competition from a product perspective? You have a different view. Obviously, you're into the, the, into the, into the product and the architecture. John just said you have a leading product. How do you see yourselves versus the competition? So uh, the way we design the product is, uh, like I told you, for self, uh, self-serve, ease of use for our customers. Uh, what we would like to do is uh, help uh, make them successful using their own teams. And uh, uh, for that, we, uh, uh, we built the operation to support it. So we source all of our own data so it's uh, available to our, to our customers uh, uh, without any licensing uh, issues and we built the uh, uh, modeling infrastructure so that it's completely self-serve. You don't have to be a data scientist in order to build a model in, in Mintico. Do um, I need to have a CRM to work with you? Typically you do, and typically you should okay. al already have uh, uh, some kind of marketing activity, right, uh, going on in some marketing automation. Um, and after you've got that, then the question you should start asking is, uh, how do I get consistency, efficiency, mm -hmm. and how do I own my numbers on those uh, platforms? Well, I'm going to wish on a star here for the uh, Mintigo platform data. A little wishing well. We're the genies and here they come. <laughs> Special presentation on the cube. Okay. Always happening in Vegas. You don't know what you can expect so on the John cube. So John Furrier, we have a special gift for you. Okay. So Lisa, put if you would please on. put that on him. He's got a hat on. We got to make him a genie because the feather has to go up. I think it's a really good look for you, John. Yeah. And it's another memorable this not moment. My, this is not on my contract. Here in theCUBE. <laughs> so thank you, thank you John and the Oracle <laughs> Marketing <laughs> Cloud team. Thank All you. right, that's the wrap from today. We'll be right back with more tomorrow here live at Oracle <laughs> Modern Marketing Experiences. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs>